Another knife to review for you today. This one's a really cool one. This is the uh, Jim Wagner and Boker collab. Um, this is the Wagner Urban, and it's made by Boker Plus. Okay, in Taiwan, but with very good quality. Uh, actually, before, let me show you the knife real quick. If you haven't seen this one before, very interesting. There is a different version now with a, a different style blade, but uh, I have not used that one, just this one. Uh, something I want to mention real quick is that I like uh, a lot of different Bokers, even the, the cheaper Boker Plus models, they're, they're putting these seals on here, and this is something that I've seen a lot lately. And basically, it's to show that the knife was not tampered with from Boker. Um, I want you to keep in mind something. If you guys are buying these from knife retailers, okay, i.e. knife dealers online, sometimes these seals will be broken. All right, it doesn't, it's not necessarily a bad thing. I actually had someone send me a, a question about this maybe, uh, I don't know, three, four weeks ago or so. Um, and they said, hey, like, I got my, this knife, and is it fake because the, the seal was broken? I don't know what to think. I told them, I, I said, you know, depending on where you got it, they, sometimes they have to look through their stock and inventory. So you might have a seal broken. You might not. If it is broken, call the people you got it from. Say, hey, you know, what's the deal? Why is it broken? And they're probably going to tell you um, it's because we have to check our stock. We have to make sure the knife is in the box before we sell it to our customer. Totally understand that. And they're checking for defects too. But for the most part, the seal won't be broken. I just want to mention that because I did get that specific question. But anyway, with this particular knife, it does come with some accessories, which I'll leave out and we'll talk about in a minute. All right, but I just wanted to show you that box and talk about that seal. All right, so uh, on to the knife. We have a very interesting little Tanto blade. And you can see we have a basically hawk bill and then a, it turns into a Tanto. It's very, very cute point. All right, very easy to uh, penetrate into, to stab. Slashing, um, pretty adequate. You guys, I did a slash test with this knife. Um, just because it's small doesn't mean it's not capable. It's very, very capable. Something as simple as a box cutter can completely devastate someone, you know, for the day and for the rest of their life. So don't underestimate small knives as far as defensive options. Um, now, this is a collaboration between Jim Wagner and uh, Boker. And uh, this knife is designed for a last-ditch self-defense weapon. It's also designed for being covert and not looking like a knife. Those are the two main attributes this knife has. Now, because I'm not fighting ninjas every day and, and surviving, you know, my life through, you know, <laughs> gaggles of muggers and gang members, um, I didn't use this knife for defense to test it. I tested it um, for utility. I carried it for a while. You know, use it for mundane daily chores, cutting stuff, okay? So my critiques on this knife in this review is not necessarily a hit on the design because it's not meant specifically for utility. It's meant for defense. Please keep that in mind, okay? The design for defense, it's okay for last ditch. It is not easy to open. That's my, my critique as far as the defense side of things. Nothing's going to beat a fixed blade that's well placed in your body, easy to get to. Um, but as far as folders go, it is a little awkward to open. Uh, it is a liner lock. The lock is very tight. No issues with blade play at all. However, very small thumb studs on this. So although you can open it with one hand, I find it very difficult to, uh, to get to that. And God forbid, in a defensive situation, your coordination goes right out the window. All right. And even with a fixed blade, you might have a hard time, you know, wielding it, uh, you know, in necessary time. So something like this, definitely a hit as far as uh, it's hard to get open. A um, lot of handle to blade ratio. That's a good thing, especially for defense. Even though we have a small blade, doesn't mean we have to have a small knife. We want a good grip on that knife. And you can get a fantastic grip on this. Deep finger choil, great little thumb ramp on here. The little cutouts for your fingers when they wrap around, very, very comfortable. There is somewhat of a grip on here. It's kind of like a smooth skater tape. If that makes sense, it looks like skater tape and it has that grit, but it's not quite as uh, grippy. Very much on the smooth side. Does add a little something though. I like that quite a bit. Um, so yeah, it's comfortable to hold as well as in the reverse grip. Your pinky locks into that choil. All right, so no issues uh, as far as that. But it's not easy to get out one-handed. Um, these thumb studs, it is ambidextrous, so it's on both sides. It's just they're small. Not only are they small, but the way the lock face is, is cut and this liner lock, how it meets up. Um, when you're opening this knife, there's a little bit of resistance. And then right there, you can hear it. It's almost like a click. That's the, the um, liner lock dropping, okay? And it's just, it's not that big of a deal. It's just when you're opening this one hand with this design, it just, it makes it a little bit difficult. Um, even closing. 
you know, the liner lock is kind of stiff. It's not that big of a deal, but when you first get it, I think that most people are going to need to play around with it a little bit before they kind of get the hang of opening it, closing it. There's not a whole lot of knife here to, uh, to hold while you're trying to get that out. And because it's so small and acute, it wants to dig into your finger. All right, it's definitely not the most comfortable knife to, uh, to handle one-handed, okay? Given the uh, situation, if you need to, you would hold it down here, use your other hand, grab both those sides, and uh, you know, it's a breeze every time. But not everyone expects their you know, liner lock to, uh, to be a two-handed operation. So keep in mind, a little uncomfortable to, uh, to open it one-handed for sure. Biggest hit as far as uh, it being a defense option. If you can't get your knife out, you can't defend yourself with it. But uh, anyway, cool little knife though. The, the uh, appeal with this one is that it has a rounded handle and this is supposed to mimic a pen because it has the pocket clip, it's a deep carry clip and it's a pen style clip with the rounded handle. When this is in your pocket, it looks like a pen. No one is gonna know this is a knife. It does have a striking or glass breaking uh, little uh, part there on the end. What's very cool, and I broke these accessories out, is first of all, I'll show you that they give you the double-sided uh, Torx tool. This is very cool. I wish every knife came with one of these. Boker's done this with a lot of their models. There's two different sized Torx to uh, take this knife completely down, and this double-sided special tool has both those sizes. Very cool, big plus for Boker, all right? But what I really like about this one is that you have a special tool, okay, that fits, actually, let me take it out and show you. It's a special little tool here here that fits on the uh, end of that piece. So you can actually take this off if you didn't want this striking or glass breaking piece. You can use this special tool. It locks into those channels, okay, just like that. And you can unscrew this and replace it with this one. All right, now this one mimics the clicky part of a pen. So it looks even more like a pen, okay? And honestly, I kept this on for view because this is how you're gonna get it. But this one I think is even better uh, as far as striking capability because this protrudes out more. Even though this one comes to kind of a point, I would think that this one would work a lot better. I don't know about glass breaking. I didn't try either one of these for glass breaking for this uh, you know, testing. But uh, I like this one a lot, and I'm gonna put this one on as soon as the review is over. But this is how you're gonna get it. This is just an option that comes with the knife for free, which is very cool. When this thing's on there, it looks just like a pen. Between this and the pocket clip and that form factor, no one is gonna think you have a knife. So it is very stealthy. Give uh, Jim Wagner a lot of credit for that design. It's very, very cool. Um, and not only that, but of course in the closed position, you can see by design, comes to quite a point for striking if you really needed to, just in like a hammer grip or ice pick grip, you can use that to dig into pressure points, into an eyeball, whatever you have to do to save your life. All right, and those, those type of scenarios. Um, as far as the, uh, the blade style, it's very cool. It's a little extreme. I like that it's extremely pointy for a defensive item or defensive weapon. You really do want a very uh, pointy knife. You want to be able to stab as well as slash. It's not all about slashing. In some cases, stabbing is going to be more beneficial to you, especially if you're defending your life and you're talking about, you know, fatal uh, situations, you know. Um, the blade to me is a little thick. Honestly, for, for being such a small, narrow blade, I think that I would have liked this knife better if it was maybe half of that blade stock in thickness. All right, essentially what we have here is a, uh, you know, it's a scalpel that you can sharpen. It's not disposable, all right? But, it, you know, in that, the idea of it being a little scalpel, I want a nice, thin, lean edge, okay? And it's a very thick, abrupt edge. Uh, the 440C is pretty decent on this. Boker's 440C has been pretty adequate um, compared to a lot of different companies' offerings, but um, definitely would have liked something thinner. In using this, it did dull quite quickly, and it's not necessarily because the edge is super dull, it's because it's so thick. Yeah, and I was ripping through cardboard. Again, this is not designed for cardboard. It's designed for flesh, you know, meat and fat and skin. Um, and for that, you know, purpose, it'll work just fine. But uh, if you're using this for utility work, because again, it's such an abrupt angle, it's such a high angle, um, it has to be razor sharp to, to work well. Because, you know, the second you cut into your material, it's a lot of blade that's trying to push through. It's very wide, okay? So again, I would have liked to see the blade stock be half as thick as this. For its intended purpose, I think that's totally fine. Um, 
you know, I, I maybe the idea of having a little thicker blade here, because this is just like a standard thickness on a, a Foley knife, you know, but for such a small blade, I really think that should have been changed. It could be just the convenience of the manufacturing process. It could be that, um, you know, both uh, Jim Wagner and the people at Boker wanted to have a more sturdy knife. Obviously, the thicker it is, the, the more stable it's going to be, the more abuse it's going to take. I don't really know, but whether it's defense or for utility, I would have still liked a thinner blade stock. So that's my, my big critique on this knife. The idea is totally cool. Yes, there's some novelty here, but it's very much a functional knife in a lot of ways, uh, and it can be used in a lot of different purposes. Um, this little hawk bill in the center worked great for ripping open boxes. Okay, you can pierce through very easily, grab the edge uh, on here, and just literally rip through like a box cutter. But like I said, the longevity on that edge, it didn't work for me. The edge was still, you know, semi-sharp, but just being so thick, it was tearing. It, it was no longer slicing. It was, it was ripping things apart, and that's not what you want. So um, if you're going to use this for utility, which it's not designed for, but if you do want to carry it and use it for utility purposes, um, you're going to need to sharpen it more often than you normally would your other 440C blades just because of the design. But uh, overall, like I said, even though it's a liner lock, it's fairly thick. It's very sturdy. No blade play at all. Um, cool little package. I like it. 1.2 ounces on this. Weighs almost nothing. So as far as price on these, uh, pretty much everywhere you look, it's going to be less than 30 bucks. Uh, eBay, Amazon, you're going to find your best prices. I think the cheapest I found it for was on Amazon, $26.14. Uh, if you guys want to support your your online knife retailers, you're going to pay, I don't know, 2 or $3 extra. It's worth it most of the time. I mean, you're supporting really, really good companies and really good people. So uh, if you want to spend a couple extra bucks, there's a lot of different retailers out there um, that sell them. But uh, yeah, it's, it's a really cool little knife. Like I said, there's definitely some novelty involved, but uh, it's not all about the novelty. This is a very functional little knife, and uh, it's a very cool one to have. To me, this is a, a neat little backup knife. Something to keep maybe in a shirt pocket, uh, if that seems dorky to you. Clip it to your bag, you know, keep it, I don't know, uh, in an off pocket you're not using if you don't use your, your back pocket very much. Uh, it's slim enough to uh, to not really be too cumbersome in a back pocket, you know. And like I said, it's just gonna look like a pen. You can clip this thing on the inside of a button-up shirt and no one would know the difference. No one would know you have a knife, all right? So very stealthy, very cool. I would like to have seen a uh, a thinner stock for that blade. That's uh, that's pretty much it. Besides that, just the fact that it's a little bit hard to get out. Uh, I'm not a huge flipper person, but in this particular design, I would have liked to see a little flipper on here just to help me nudge out that blade. In addition, because this is a defensive uh, design, it's just going to add you you know a little guard on there. It's not going to hurt anything at all. So this same exact knife with a little bit of a flipper. I think would have uh, benefited this design. But um, if you like this one, there is another version of it, which I know a lot of people are getting too. Um, so check both out. But anyway, that's my review on it. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you soon. Take care.